I will be dealing with that matter shortly. The tone of his letter, the arrogance, is something we will uh, deal with. And the high, the high, 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 I think I would say high-handedness with which you are talking about. And you're not the first commissioner he has differed with. He differed with uh, Commissioner Akombe, differed with the other three commissioners in 2017, with the four of you, with uh, uh, Chiloba. It cannot be that the four commissioners, three commissioners, Commissioner Akombe, Chiloba are all wrong, and only one man called Chebukati is right. There must be something about uh, his personality, which goes to the root of the problem. Because Article 138 is very clear. And the matter came out before the Commission, before the Supreme Court, looking at the ruling, particularly Clause 48 of that ruling, the chairperson had submitted that the issue of uh, verifying and telling was his exclusive authority. The Supreme Court differed with him in the paragraph 49, they were very categorical. And if I may read that, we find that the chairperson cannot arrogate him to himself the power to verify and to tally the results of the presidential election to the exclusion of the other members of the commission, meaning yourselves. And uh, indeed, Article 138. 10. This is what he's been relying on because he's saying as a returning officer it was his prerogative. And they said indeed Article 138.10 of the Constitution although the power to declare the results of a presidential election after verification and tallying is vested in the chairperson, he does so only as a delegate of the commission. One of you having sat tallied, verified and you announce. I do remember, and uh, uh, Irene Masit will remember, Isaac Hassan was also our classmate at the university. When he was faced with a similar situation in the previous election, the declaration of the results was delayed for almost seven hours. When Isaac Hassan sat with his colleagues, they were able to build consensus. And when they came out, they came out as a united commission to make that declaration. Now, the concern of this uh, team is that going into the future, having listened from you, you are sidelined, given peripheral roles, and your core mandate was not, you're not given the opportunity to exercise it. In future, there's a danger of a rogue chairman. You are seven. This chairman had two only minority supporting him. The majority of you up to today have not owned those results, which still casts the shadow on the legitimacy. Even if we say the Supreme Court's ruling was final, 